The recent strong storms are warning about possible scams involving roofing contractors. LAX 18's Ricky Sayer caught up with a local roofing contractor to talk about the issue. This has been a busy few days for contractors. The phone's been ringing off the hook. As roofers field calls about homes damaged by last week's storms. A godsend roofing owner, Darrell Whitlock, said they had 66 job prospects in the days after the storm. Some, some people showed me pictures of baseball size hail. We went out on sites and we've seen roofs totally destroyed. While in other cases, it's just a few shingles. It all leads to calls to insurance companies and eventually a roofer like Whitlock. That's unless someone shows up at your door. Don't just assume that the first person that comes down the block is going to be the guy you want to take care of your problem. The Better Business Bureau's Heather Clary says scammers often follow storm damage. They're called storm chasers. People that just zoom in on an area and go door to door and say, we can fix everything. They get you to sign. Companies may seem reputable. After getting paid, they may start to work on roofs like this one, but never finish the job or even get started at all. Uh, want to be contractors will knock on doors, tell them that they'll get them a free roof, uh, insist on getting the insurance check written to them. They get the insurance check written to the contractor and never see them again. Uh, it's very unfortunate, but it has happened. Then you can end up having to pay more to get the job done right. That's because it's often on homeowners to determine if contractors are legitimate. You just want to make sure they provide you with all of their credentials, you know, their name, their address, where they're located. Do they have you know, insurance. A Better Business Bureau sticker sits on Whitlock's truck. It's an indication from the BBB that his business is credible. I'll wait for customers to call me. There's no pressure tactics. There's no need to be in a rush. It's that rush that can cloud people's judgment, putting them at greater risk. In Winchester, Ricky Sayer, LEX 18 News.